once again, welcome, extend my welcome to, uh, to you all to, to, to Box. We arrived uh, last night uh, and in wonderful Swedish hospitality, uh, had a picnic outside in minus 14, you know, which probably isn't cold for some of you. Uh, but it was the very first time that my hand has ever frozen to the outside of a whiskey glass, you know. But they were not going to prize it away from me, you know. Uh, so I think we're in for a really, really fascinating couple of days. Uh, some great, great speakers have uh, already been kind of looking over their shoulders, seeing what their, their presentations are all around. So a lot of very thought-provoking uh, stuff coming out. So just as a, a very quick kind of introduction, you know, what are we trying to do here? Uh, and I was asked this question early on, uh, what is world whiskey? And it's quite a tricky one to define. And it could be defined as whiskey from non-traditional uh, whiskey making countries. But I think that's too simplistic. Uh, I think world whiskey is a mindset. It's a mindset which is sort of saying, this is what whiskey can be. This, it's looking at the world and seeing what the world is about, whether that's in terms of commerce uh, and distribution or actually in ingredients and geology in that, that terrible T word, the terroir. Uh, that's what World Whiskey is about for me. It's actually a changing of a mindset into what this great spirit can be moving forward. And that's really going to be one of the themes, uh, I think, uh, that's, that's going to be picked up by a whole number of distillers, both large and indeed small. Uh, this is a great period of change and a great period of opportunity for whiskey. You know, we are in a golden age. There has never been so much whiskey being made in so many countries and so much great quality coming out. So this is a chance to celebrate. 